Hey, Collective. I hope everybody's doing great today. We're doing good. Hi, yeah, Collective. What's going on, guys? <laughs> this is me. Hi, Thank you, Kim. Hope you guys are doing good today. We're doing good. I've got some new decks today, so I'm excited. I've been working with them, and I've already got cards laid out because I wanted to work with them for a little bit before I started reading with them, so I'm excited. This is going to be a wild message coming out, so hold on to your horse because off we go. <laughs> okay, let me better read you. You can always take this deal. Yeah, we Okay, I hope you guys will please like and share and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so whenever I upload new videos, you guys will be notified, okay? Alright guys, so let's tap in to this crazy shit that's on my table right now. You're like, oh my god. <laughs> okay, so first, straight out the gate, we've got fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we got date night, ready to be wined and dined, and it came out in reverse. So, there's no date that's going to be happening. Someone's not going to be wined and dined. Or, this person was in the past, and it's not going on now, so we'll find out. They'll be back, expect to hear from them soon, and it came out in reverse. So, they will not be back. This was a narcissist here, okay? Someone is too full of themselves, and ego-ridden shit is all over my table right now. Narcissist is out here again in this deck. This one of my new ones. Okay, let me just pause right here and just show you some of the decks I got. So I got this new tarot deck today. Awesome, I'm excited. <clears throat> and I got this one. Okay. And this one, this one, <laughs> this one, and this one. So I'm excited. We're gonna we're gonna work with these in this reading. Okay. So, oh, oops. Hold on. Oh, and then this is the other one that I was just pulling. I was like, I know there's another one. Where's the other box? Okay. So these are my new decks. <laughs> so, okay. So let's, let's keep going. All right. So this narcissist is a gold digger, and they've been spying on you. Okay. They want your money. You're being used. Okay. This gold digger here. Someone got their eye on you. You are doing your research. Okay. So you may know this person spying on you. You may not. Or you may feel that this person is spying on you. Here's your confirmation. Okay. Now we've got on the itching. We've got, we've got a water sign. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You know, open your heart in reverse. It will help you attract more love. So this person's heart chakra is blocked and closed off. Okay, this person's not operating from a state of love whatsoever. <clears throat> they, and they've got challenges. Make a decision. Work on inner healing. So this person has got a lot of inner healing work that needs to be done. They're dark inside and their heart is closed. Gambling. Problems with addiction or gambling. And they're having problems with their finances. They're in bad shape. Okay. Because they're unhealed for sure. And they've got a problem with intimacy. <clears throat> and they're not breaking these cycles. Okay. Sexual chemistry and reminiscing. So this person was promiscuous. Uh, they're getting something. Beginning something. And fate and karma are here. So like there's a lot of cycles karmic cycles that are going on right now in this person's life, okay? And there's been a resurrection to their recklessness. And you're protected from this person here with this pentagram here. You're, you're protected from this person. <clears throat> the blood of the moon has to do with this person's destiny and with your destiny. Trying to purify their destiny, okay? And purify the possibilities of creating changes, okay, that they're trying to manifest 
in order to possibly have some kind of communication with you, okay? And it's about some trouble that was going on, and you're going to be able to have some insight, possibly, about spell work even, okay? So, because that's what that insight card is, and there's a mortar and pestle on that, so, like, herbal magic and tinctures could be going on. All right. <clears throat> now, Mary, oh. Well, should I say that spirit? It's for some of you, not all of you, but to like, and I'm hearing to poison, like, to create a poison. Okay. <clears throat> Don't run crazy with that. It's not for all of you, for sure, that that could have happened to you by, you know, this person could have tried to done something. They could have tried to do something to you. So, <clears throat> we have perfectionism. In the pursuit of perfection, night after night, I've gifted myself a thousand flaws. And that's this narcissist here, okay? So, a narcissist in their mind, they think they can do no wrong. They think everyone else is wrong, and they're definitely the ones that are wrong and acting a fool, okay? <clears throat> this person, oh, let me read you what this little book says. Okay, so, narcissists. It's so funny. <laughs> It's really funny. The world, in fact, does not revolve around you or your precious ego cargo. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> okay, so next we have the self-care card. Where is it? This <laughs> is <sick>, hilarious. <laughs> it's so little, but it packs a fucking punch. <laughs> Okay, so next we have a necromancer, so there's definitely magic being done, okay? Amidst the whispers of the dead, where mysteries are spread, what should have been gone still here remains. Okay, so they couldn't put a death to something or an ending to something, and could have been blood moon magic and, and trying to affect your destiny in some way, okay? And they've been very reckless with the energy that they're putting out. Um, so self-care is you need some tenderness and nourishment ASAP. Self-care isn't all face masks and bubble baths. Get yourself some healthy boundaries and stop poisoning your body and mind with bullshit and terrible relationships. Get some sleep and recharge your damn battery. <laughs> I swear that's what it says. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> God. All right, so <laughs> they're trying to affect your destiny, and it's not it's not working for them how they're wanting this to. And there's there's going to be an input to this, okay? Well, next we've got gin magic, so they've conjured up a gin, okay, to spy on you and to try and affect your destiny with possibilities and changes and what you're trying to manifest. So, <clears throat> as magic unfolds, a risk as high will arise. Wishes will be granted, but beware the divine. So, and you do this return to sender work, they, they need to realize, they need to be fucking careful what the hell they're casting and what kind of intentions they're putting out into the universe. Because that land back your ancestors are fucking pissed and, and they're on the scene. They're they're dealing with this, okay? <clears throat> so the land back is drawing this card as a reminder to recognize, acknowledge, and reestablish indigenous people's political and economic control over land that belonged to them before colonization. How do you support indigenous rights? You can start by making contributions that support the preservation of languages and traditions and by Ensuring food sovereignty, housing, and clean air and water. That is your <clears throat> commitment to dismantling white supremacy and the harms arising from capitalism and from the genocide of indigenous people everywhere. So, you're being protected from this gen. Your ancestors are on the scene. And you can have indigenous ancestors, okay? So, next we have key. 
sharp insight opportunities and hidden potential and under this we have legend and it came out in reverse let's read this one You are so goddamn good that they made you a mythic creature. Keep up the good work. <laughs> this person is not any fucking good at all. And they are not a mythical creature. And the work that they're doing is not good. It's bad. And it needs to stop. So that's why your ancestors are on the fucking scene. And if they're conjuring gins, then that's definitely not good. Okay? So, <clears throat> next we have avoidance. In the change of, or I'm sorry, in the dance of shadows, I conceal and evade. Fear's veil keeps me distant in the dark's cool shade. So, and this is under challenges and gambling. So this person is avoiding facing their addictions, facing, you know, their financial situation. They're making a lot of bad decisions and it's creating challenges and obstacles in their life because they're unhealed and they need to work on their inner healing work. <clears throat> so we got Starseed and Podcast and they came out in reverse. I'll put them up right so that you can see them. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Okay, so they don't like what you're saying. Maybe you have a platform. Maybe you're... Um, Maybe you're a star seed, maybe you're a light worker, okay? And they don't like it because you're spreading love and light around the world and they are not doing that and they're jealous, okay? And they're trying to affect your finances and what you manifest. They're trying to change any type of opportunities that can be coming towards you um, and possibilities for your destiny here. And this energy that they're putting out is fucking reckless, okay? It's bad. And mm, what they're manifesting for themselves, they've been trying to avoid it, but karma is here, and there's a shitstorm that's going to be fucking going on. So the podcast, and this can also be, I'm hearing like with this star seed in reverse, I'm hearing like reptilian. Okay, could be like they could be encompassing like reptilian energy, and could be trying to come after you, you know, spiritually in that way. Uh, or a fallen twin flame, because over here, you know, we do have the twin flame card that came out. We'll get to that. But, so this could be a fallen twin that's, you know, fallen into really dark, bad energy. <clears throat> the starseed card. You aren't from here, but you live here. Existing while being embodied in a human vessel can feel like being trapped in a flesh prison, which sucks. I call it a skin suit. <laughs> Egger, go get your skin suit. <laughs> Egger. <laughs> I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about. It's from Independence Day. <laughs> Uh, but at least you have superpowers, okay? Yeah, you're an alien and you have superpowers and you're not from here, okay? You're an earth angel. <laughs> Try to enjoy this earth school as much as you can because it's fucking hard down here. God almighty. The aliens aren't coming to help you. They are you. They are already here, okay? And they don't like it that you're an alien and they're trying to make it where people don't realize that you're an earth angel. They're trying to affect your destiny so that you cannot come into your power and shine your beautiful bold light. Okay, they're trying to put that out. So, <clears throat> podcast. Fucking jealous. Do you love the sound of your own voice? Do you believe the world needs to be informed of your nuanced opinion on everything? Could be time you got your own show. The masses need your brand of authority right now. How will you wield your power with a microphone in front of you? Draw another card to see whether this direction will have a positive or negative impact on the world around you. And the next card that came out was Influencer. Okay, we'll get to it in just a second. But so, they don't like how you're influencing people. They don't like how you're helping people. They don't like that you're a starseed and they don't want you talking. They don't, they don't want you having your own show. So, they're trying to do whatever they can to take that show down. If you've already got a show, they're trying to come against your show. They don't want you doing it. And um, they want you to be in like a state of avoidance to where you're procrastinating and putting things off and you're not working and doing what you need to do to manifest 
what needs to come in for your for your life and your existence here on the earth. And I'm also hearing this as though these people or this person, but I'm taking it as multiple people here, um, have been coming against you with their own little show that they've created to try to slander you and tear you down in some way. And it's not taking off. It's not it's not going to be beneficial. They're not going to manifest anything with this. It's really bad, nasty energy, and it's not going to be allowed to continue. Okay. So next we have the mirror labyrinth. Illusions and reflections. Who are you trying to fool? When you turn your back to the mirror, there is still someone looking at you. Yeah, so who the fuck are you trying to fool by putting on this show? That is total fucking bullshit. When you are you can't come against an earth angel like this, if you do, you're going to regret it because uh, our light is going to expose the fuck out of you. And here you are as this powerful, beautiful influencer here. And... Uh, It, it, you can see right through these false people here on this other podcast over here that's trying to influence people to not be influenced by you. There we go. That's how Spirit just told me to say that. They don't want people to hear what you've got to say. No, there it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. <clears throat> Are you using your power for good or evil? Choose wisely. Yeah. So, on the bottom of the deck, we have love and gaslight. So, they could even be trying to act, act like they're you. Because we do have copycat over here. These people could be trying to act like they're you. And that they're of the light. And they're trying to copy you. And it's obvious that it's not the case. Okay. These people are full of shit. And it's being made known. Are you glossing over and suppressing your trauma or another's perspective? Are you steamrolling your or another's feelings? Your cult leader application has been denied. Yeah. So you're trying to do some kind of weird ass initi initiation to get into a cult or some shit like that. Access denied, motherfucker. You're not coming in. All right. <clears throat> we have getting paid, manipulation, lies, and control. So somebody's getting getting played and somebody's, uh, I just heard getting played and getting paid is what I heard. <clears throat> and Someone's definitely trying to control the situation, control someone, control the narrative, what I was told. Betrayal, deceit, backstab, traitor, not to be trusted. It's whoever. So whoever this person is not to be trusted, okay, this person backstabbed you. And we have a twin flame here, so this is definitely uh, an ex fallen twin flame here. You've rejected this person, and they're... They're having financial issues. I mean, it's out here again. They, because of their addictions, their their money's all fucked up right now. Okay. Um, could drink. They could do drugs. But you rejected this person and this person's energy. You don't want anything to do with this person. This person may not have a job. They could have gotten fired from their job. Could have quit their job. Or they're just unemployed because they don't want to fucking work. Um, this person could be lazy and just don't want to work. This person's credit's in bad shape and they're in a lot of debt. They're they're struggling financially. We have promiscuous. So they could be getting paid for sex. Sleeps around a hot free-for-all. Sleeps with your man. And uh, keeping you a secret. Oh. I'll keep you my dirty little secret. Don't tell anyone or you will. Or you'll be just another re regret. Oh, yeah. Just another great regret. My dirty little secret. Who has to know? Phony, trickster, illusion, and fairy tale. Okay. So whoever they have lured in, or since they're keeping a secret here, and they're out screwing around, whoever they've created some weird little gaslit fairy tale with, uh, these people are starting to bump fucking heads. All right, the finances are all fucked up. They're fighting. They're arguing. They're bumping heads. They're not getting along. This person's not to be trusted. They're 
full of ma manipulation tactics. All they do is lie, and all they do is play. This person's a player, and they like to control the narrative, so that way it makes them feel powerful. Well, motherfucker, you need to check yourself. And uh, somebody's seen you at a sex shop here, getting you a little sex toy. I mm, wonder what you got. Well, it's your psycho ex. It's a crazy fucking psycho ex that's obsessed. And they won't let go. And you said goodbye to this person. And they're fucking crazy. Look at this bitch. Hey, are you home and trying to watch you through your fucking windows? Some of you, God almighty, not, it's not for all of you. Could be, may not be possibility they're trying to see if, if you're playing with sex toys with somebody else <laughs> or whatever they hook up with other people they use toys well this person needs to check themselves okay for realsies so we've got a love story here remember that's a little fake phony fairy tale that's been created once upon a time this fairy tale started by a phony trickster who creates illusions and it's nothing but total drama for the action that is now playing out I love you is in reverse and divine feminine is in reverse so this is a karmic feminine that this person is hooked up with that they do not love they do not love this person and this psycho crazy ex that I love you in reverse is right beside it so <clears throat> And this karmic feminine here, goodbyes right beside it. They're bumping heads. They're rejected. And I'm just saying that as though not getting paid by this person anymore. Maybe this person was a sex worker with this person. Okay. Um, and we have game over. Tired of all the drama. This person drinks. And they have a really toxic lifestyle. And we got happily single in reverse. So they're in a relationship with someone. Doing you dating. Stress free. Setting goals. And career focused. And it's in reverse. So this person's in a relationship with someone. They're not happy. It's a karmic feminine. Or masculine. Y'all flip it how it resonates with feminines on the card. This person is overindulgent. They like to party. They like to do drugs. Um, it is it is out here it's over here on the very end we'll get to it but we've got a copycat on our hands here so and that's what i'm feeling from this right here they're, they're they're trying to copy you okay and that's why all of this is in reverse it's because they can't copy you okay they they can't replicate and, and duplicate your energy and who you are and they don't encompass this energy and they're jealous and they're fucking pissed okay well this person is getting rooms with people no strings attached so they're just out hooking up okay hotel motel suite business and pleasure okay could say I'm going on a business trip or I've got a business meeting even I miss you so whoever they're hooked up with now that they're in this relationship with oh okay I miss you you know I'll be home soon all right and then they're they're out fucking around and doing whatever the fuck they want getting a room with somebody no strings attached okay and this is this is your copycat here this is your doppelganger all right <clears throat> well something's happened where some burden some fucking evidence they don't want something to be found out so a situation's about to explode. Shit's about to pop off. Something's gonna go up in fucking flames, okay? They don't want something to be found. GPS is in reverse. So, <clears throat> they could be driving to some location, turn their navigation off to where, you know, they can't be seen of where they're going. Uh, they could have had a GPS tracker on your car that they've taken off and removed, and they burn it to get rid of the evidence. This is some kind of book here, some kind of information, um, and I'm hearing possible arson or house fire as well. <clears throat> so, someone got their wish, and they popped the question. Okay, so whoever this karmic feminine is that they're in a relationship with got their wish, and they got a ring. Okay, so, <clears throat> but there's definitely evidence that has been burned 
okay regarding possibly what they're trying to block for you um i just they're trying to fulfill their wishes of something their wish was fulfilled when this person when your ex person popped the question to them okay we've got sexual protection and divorce breaking contracts so something could have happened with this promiscuity here where um either this person is protecting themselves while they're out being promiscuous or they aren't and something has happened okay um could be getting a divorce because they found out that this person pouring around and sleeping with everybody that they can on the scenes with no strings attached getting rooms and fucking hooking up this person's fucking fed up so they're getting a divorce from these karmic ties that they've gotten themselves in okay this something could be going on with a knife that could be like a weapon or something that was like used in some kind of crime or something and that could be you know evidence also that could be going on online chill take care money offline go to bed work 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 stop just reading a little posty notes okay this person needs to chill the fuck out this person's escalated <clears throat> I'm just feeling a lot of jealousy. This person's on drugs and they're making really bad choices. This person could be doing pills, okay, or some kind of other drug. And this person has to have it's my way or the highway kind of bob going on this person's really selfish and stubborn they're arrogant and they operate from their pride and ego and there's a firestorm that's about to fucking go up in flames shit's about to pop off we've got karma and drama coming in major endings and loss getting ready to happen and there's going to be a mental breakdown somebody's getting ready to pop the fuck off okay they want it to be their way <clears throat> they're extremely stubborn this person is not flexible they will not budge so something has happened we've got a pregnancy fake news or DNA and this person's in massive regret because this deck was so big I had to split it into do two stacks so this is what came out on both parts of the bottom so um, <clears throat> someone could have use children as a way to lure this person in if they're not pregnant um could have faked a, pe a pregnancy could have said that they were pregnant needed money for an abortion to get money out of someone um could have gotten pregnant and gotten like a morning after pill could have got or you know gotten pregnant could have had a miscarriage there could even be DNA evidence. It doesn't even have to be pregnancy, but with burning evidence over here and something going on um, with the GPS in reverse, too. They don't want something to be found, and it could even have to do with DNA evidence here of something. Okay. Um, this person is having an ego death, and this is going on something to do with your spirituality. Because over here, the first card that came out in this deck was religious. So this has something to do with your spirituality and with your beliefs. <clears throat> They're trying to create chaos in whatever it is that you're doing. They don't want you to manifest your destiny. Uh, this person's going through a downward spiral and... There's definitely a spiritual awakening going on in your life, and they're going through one too, whether they realize it or not. And uh, this person's running straight to their sex addiction, you know? God. Wow. And they have a family, okay? They're a sex addict. This person's fucked up over you. And they're feeling like shit for what they've done. And they're about to get some bad fucking news or you might hear some bad news or your spiritual gifts are bad news to this person because you're exposing this person 
here's a police station. This person could definitely be under investigation. Um, or you're going to end up having to get the, the law involved because we got a thug right here that's going to act like uh, their true colors are getting ready to come out. They're going to act like a fucking jackass, and you could have to get the law involved. Okay. So, on this side, this person's in massive regret. Their cycles are just going round and fucking round. I mean, here it is again, triggers and lessons. And, like, they're not learning the lessons. They're repeating the cycles. And it's, this person is a sex addict. I mean, it's all about this fucking intimacy out here. This person is extremely promiscuous. They're going to hotels. They're hooking up. And I'm even hearing, could even be gay for pay. You know, if this is a masculine here. Um, they're acting like they're busy so that they can go run around and do this shit and you're just on your self love tour here you don't give a fuck what these stupid people are doing well the truth is being illuminated and you're you're discovering things and you're awakening here uh, and you secluded yourself you're separated from this person you've been doing reflecting and soul searching okay this person here has got a ring in their hand so you know now this could even be for whoever they've got this whoever they gave this ring to over here they're in a love-hate relationship they fought all the fucking time uh, this person's a backstabber and this person stabbed you in the back pain cheating deception mind games and love bombing and there is a love child so this pregnancy definitely could have happened and it was a karmic lesson that these people had to learn so yeah, they can they can have memories of you, but that's all it is because it's too late. You're not taking this motherfucker back. Turning your back on this shit, you're fucking done. So this person can go get married to whoever else they want to get married to that they pop this question to. Now they're ashamed, they're guilty, they're embarrassed, and they know that they're in the fucking wrong. They could come in trying to sweet talk you. Living in the moment here, let's see what happens. Oh, heartbreak. That's what happens. Yeah, that's what comes with this motherfucker. There could be a funeral. So someone could be heartbroken because someone could actually die. So, you know, and it could be I was instantly drawn to drinking and toxic lifestyle. Um, this person could end up in some legal matters here and they could end up, um, I'm even hearing an overdose. Divorce, property, criminal, paternity, child support, tra and a traffic ticket even. So, but, um, didn't we have, yeah, we had divorce over here. So this could possibly, you know, definitely be a divorce here even. But something's ended up in the court. Could have to have a paternity test to see if uh, this person is actually pregnant with, with this person's baby of the father of this child we've got a jezebel here for sure okay and this person left you hanging with no closure no contact and they left you on red and it really hurts your feelings all these secrets that they were keeping from you about this romance bullshit that they had going on everywhere else you block this person this person is like spam to you now you're not receiving their calls or texts you're getting readings to try and figure out what's going on with this shady ass motherfucker that was in your life. Alright. <clears throat> well, this person's in massive regrets, okay? And this person was definitely a liar. So be careful if someone's sneaky, alright? This person liked private relationships. They like to keep shit private and behind the fucking scenes. There could even be a recording, some kind of announcement, expression, or revealing that there's a recording of some kind of private relationship that's going on. Someone could have been keeping a promise to someone. They hate nothing about you. Someone's going to be setting the record straight soon. Yeah, you already know the tea. We already know what's going on, don't we, collective? Yeah, these motherfuckers are putting on a show, aren't they, guys? Somebody's in their feels. Oh, goodness. This person's outdated, expired, disguised. This is old news, and this person discarded you and you've discarded this person and this person I'm telling you this person's going to end up getting fucking arrested they've got fake friends all right and here we have a pregnancy test again unsure pregnancy scare positive or negative so pregnancy out here twice 
Oh, they're caught. Finding evidence, getting caught, cheating here. So somebody got caught because they've got somebody pregnant. And there's an investigation regarding this. Somebody's definitely being investigated. And red lipstick stains, that's, that's definitely cheating right there. Somebody's falling apart or something's falling into pieces for you, Collected, but their world's falling the fuck apart. So, and they're in massive regrets over this. Uh, <laughs> God, that's all right. The gargoyles are protecting you. You're protected by the gargoyles here, okay? In stone I'm carved, let alone in the cold, always watching over, protecting stories untold. So what they're keeping private is being revealed to you, okay? Now, we got change. There's a change, or there's a change for the better coming your way. Embrace it. Just because you don't see any movement, it doesn't mean nothing is happening. It's divine timing. Your gods and your ancestors are working behind the scenes right here. I can promise you that. Sometimes to see change, you must be the change. Okay. And that's clarified by the Five of Pentacles. And the, it is crazy how every single tarot card that I pulled came out in reverse except for two. It's fucking nuts. This energy is awful on my table. The Five of Pentacles and the Three of Cups in reverse is what came out. So they're not celebrating. They're really having bad financial hardship right now. Um, it's possible financial or spiritual hardship. And they're definitely going through both. Okay. Poverty, financial difficulty, troubles, hard times, and it can be cold weather as well. You've left this person out in the cold, they left you out in the cold. Um, social distancing and canceled events, isolation, loneliness, gossip, and cheating. So, I mean, this person definitely cheated, and they are not faithful. So, next we've got loss. A major phase in your life is ending. Embrace newness. Let go of what was so you can focus your energy on what is ahead of you. The grief of loss continues to be an obstacle in your life. And so this right here, <clears throat> this is the funeral here. So someone very possibly could end up dying. And uh, we have death here. We've got a Scorpio with the Ten of Cups in reverse and the death in reverse. So this is resistance to accept change. Repeating bad choices, stagnation, lethargy, and fear of change is death in reverse. This person is going to end up very possibly losing their life because of their their drinking and their toxic lifestyle. And spirit says, game over. Checkmate, bitch. Like, this copycat, whatever this is, they're going down. And they're, they're going to, I mean, like, their and their own ancestors are after their ass. It's that bad. How bad this person, it, with their reckless behavior, they have destroyed their destiny on this earth because of their nasty sexual perversion and reckless behavior. Their soul needs to be purified. It's awful. Conflict and unhappiness, relationship problems, sorrow instability and arguments is the ten of cups in reverse i'm telling you these people they fight they're in this love-hate relationship they're i mean this person's psycho this person's obsessed with you this was a fallen twin flame that you are definitely rejecting okay they are creating this illusion that they're in this perfect little relationship just to try to cover and hide the deviant sexual behavior that's going on behind them. It was 39.09 on the clock. Spirit threw my eyes up. <clears throat> we have a designer. I'm even hearing a web designer. Um, you're being called to tune into your individuality and express yourself. A career in fashion, art, or any artistic endeavor could be just for you. And that's what you are doing here, or you're trying to do. And it's what they're trying to make to where it, you can't manifest the things that you're wanting to manifest collective but they're coming against that okay um get creative with your finances perhaps it is time to discover a new talent so when these people stop fucking with you 
you know, your business that you're trying to create is going to flourish more, okay? Because they're definitely coming against you and your finances and your destiny and what you're trying to manifest on this earth. And we got the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Devil. So this is definitely Capricorn here and this Taurus Virgo Capricorn, but I'm definitely fucking Capricorn energy here um, as well. So strong Scorpio, strong Capricorn. Okay, ideals overcome by materialism. Corruption, loss, greed, laziness, financial insecurity is this King of Pentacles reverse. The presence of temptation, addiction, materialism, sex, cheating, and violence. This person could even R-A-P-E people sexually violent, okay? I mean, this could be like even a predator here on my table. On the bottom of the deck, we have the office. Delegating more, or, yeah, delegating more can help you increase your earnings. Secretary, staff assistant, office manager, or any job working in an office, or your own home office, okay? Think of the greater good than oneself to achieve a better outcome. Okay, so you're operating from a state of what's for the highest good for all collective, and this person is not. They're loving gaslight. You're loving light. This fucker can fuck off. So we got the the Knight of Swords in reverse, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and the Ace of Cups in reverse. This person's awful. God, failure to recognize opportunity, a mischance, danger. Self-doubt, and this person is a fucking coward, okay? This person's a fucking coward. Having to come after you like this for no reason. This person's a fucking pussy. Yeah, I said it. Instability. Oh, and this person, that's a fucking pussy, gets to fuck off. You smile nicely. And walk away. <laughs> It'll really fuck them up. <laughs> Instability and unexpected change, insecurity, debt, conflict, loss, and failure. I mean, and this uh, this person, I'm hearing they're even losing their their physical and spiritual inheritance. Hold on, just a minute. Okay, sorry, I'm making ham and it smells so good. And I needed to go baste it. Okay, feelings and okay, the Ace of Cups reverse is feelings of negativity, emotionally drained, breakup, pain. And sadness, yeah. And remember, this water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio over, over here. Uh, their heart chakra is completely blocked off and closed. This person is reckless. They do not love. They are full of really just nasty, toxic, karmic energy. I mean, ugh. And I'm drawn to this knife. This person could could cut themselves they could they could have stabbed someone they could be planning to do that that could be what this firestorm is here could be this crazy bitch that they proposed to because it's right beside the, the this it's right beside this karmic cause with this crazy girl maybe she stabbed someone that she's divorced from This person's toxic. Whoever they're mixed up with is so toxic too. They they both drink. They both are on drugs. They both make very bad choices. And then I'm hearing this too as maybe they were, maybe you gave this person your credit card to use. Maybe they put you into a lot of debt. Um, and then you started rejecting this person. And they got, they got mad because you've cut this person off financially and you're bumping heads and you said goodbye to this karmic feminine here. Or that's what your past person, that's this psycho ex here, has done to whoever they got hooked up with because they realized that this person, you know, was just a fucking karmic that's a gold digger and a narcissist and they're just out for whatever they can get. And they were keeping your person trapped with, like, their sexuality. Oh, on the bottom of the deck, 
we have the seven of wands. Confrontation may arise, defending, fighting for goals, perseverance, and standing your ground. You may have to defend yourself against this fucking person, okay? Hopefully not, or maybe you already have, and, you know, this is past energy, and you've already had to deal with this, but it's still going on because of the crazy shit that's going on in your past person's life. Okay, so, <clears throat> with the Kipper here, we've got, somebody got a gift, and it was, there was a message of concern about this gift, and... whoever they're not in a relationship with anymore, okay, or whoever your ex is, okay, this past person. So some kind of gift, they're concerned about it, whoever this couple is. And this could just be this karmic couple with this coming out in reverse. Well, a pathway has been blocked for main female who is not an official person. Okay, or this main female, their path has been blocked by an official person and they didn't realize that this person was an official person and we did have investigation so this could be like some kind of undercover officer here even that gave this person a gift of one of the people in this courtship or both of the people in this partnership here and it completely fucked up their pathway because they got hemmed up by this official person. So the next card out is the coffin. So this official person putting an end to something that was going on in this house. Okay. Because this person was trying to act like they weren't an official person. Or this could be an actual death here. Which I'm feeling that there's definitely going to be in a death. Or there's going to be a death. And this person could die inside of their home. Or this person, something happened um, to where this home became a crime scene, to where DNA evidence could have been obtained. Um, or this house is going to be considered a crime scene by this official person who is an undercover investigator here. These lovers are in bad health. And it's affecting the community because of the promiscuity and the hooking up that's going on in these hotel rooms. And right above this, is there, they're a paid sex worker here. So there's been two changes. Maybe this main female has lived in a couple spots and they're going to get a message of concern. Or uh, there's just a lot of traveling around or a lot of changes that are getting ready to occur that can be two major changes in this person's life. Um, this person is a thief also. So this person could have robbed you in some way. Um, or they stole this person from you, okay, and interfered in your relationship. And there's a mature man that's in their thoughts or this is always my investigator here so this investigator could be a mature man that knows what's going on with these thieves and they're under investigation and these people don't realize that and it could have uh, sparked the interest of this investigation due to someone complaining about a health concern that arose uh, from these false people here they're trying to act like they're not thieves and like they're not doing this. And whenever I picked this up, Budication fell off because it was the very last card. And it fell back. So they're in spiritual court right now. And this person could get a message of concern regarding the operation of their keeping secrets of being a sex worker, going to people's homes. Okay? This person could be sick with an incurable. And they're trying to act like they're not this person. This false person is a main male here. That's in lovers type relationships. And this person was married and cheating. So in the distant horizons, something that was going on with this courtship of whatever they were doing. 
it's going to land them in fucking prison because this detective here is taking their ass to court and they're going to be charged and they're going to go to prison. So you might as well just expect this journey that's coming in. And all this hard work that you've been doing behind the scenes to squander out some great fortune for some money. Getting ready to leave your ass in poverty. And you're going to have to work really hard to, uh, you've been working really hard behind the scenes screwing around, it looks like. Okay. And, uh, I'm going to land you in prison. And this thief could be stealing money too. From people, and the investigators also know about this. Okay, this um, official person here could end up meeting, or this could, this official person could be an undercover detective here that's um, trying to catch solicitation or prosecution rings here. I'm going to read these. Um, I'm going to read these from this book here. So this is my book. I love this book. I want to get in just a little bit deeper. We're just a little under an hour, but I want to read this. Okay, so the Five of Pentacles. <clears throat> the Five of Pentacles is illness, injury, disease, sick, being in poor health, declining health, aging, Physical deterioration, poverty, being poor, impoverished, having a feeling of being poor, feeling or being destitute, suffering, hardships, outcast, feeling rejected. This person cannot handle rejection from you, collective. Okay? They can't handle rejection. They think they're God's gift and they can't handle being rejected by you. And that's why this person is obsessed with you and won't let go. And why they're fucking insane and crazy and a goddamn psycho. That because you told them goodbye and this bitch needs to go uh, put their sex toy up their ass or wherever the fuck they like it in their putty or their ass or both. And you need to check your fucking self. You can fuck off, karmic. Okay. Um mistreated, suffering violence, physical abuse, neglected, abandoned, beggar, telling you they were, they were using your card, they were wanting your money, um, always wanting a handout. This person could be homeless or was homeless and was screwing around doing this kind of thing to avoid being homeless and being a hobosexual, bouncing from place to place. That's why this change card could have been out here twice. And medically, this means all illnesses or injuries. And it can even be an amputation. Okay. Um, now, the Three of Cups reverse. Let's see what this is. Uh, celebration turned to disappointment. An unhappy occasion, such as a funeral. I'm telling you, some, somebody's getting ready to pass away, collector. A meeting goes bad. Could be at this meeting where this person passes away. This person wants to party all the time. Problem with food and drink such as contamination, bacteria, toxicity, poisoning. I'm telling you, I was channeling somebody with tinctures was trying to, to possibly poison someone, put something in their drink. Um, partaking in too much food or alcohol. Could even be alcohol poisoning. Um, gluttony. Fasting could be overdose. <clears throat> Fasting, having no food, hungry, <coughs> starving, famine. My throat chopper is getting attacked. <clears throat> you don't want this coming out. Yes. <coughs> Diabetic, alcoholic, food allergies, malnutrition, anorexia, and bulimia. And I'm even hearing like whenever you drink a lot, you don't eat a lot. You, you know, and... It fucks up your buzz. And then you get to a point where you're so drunk, you have to eat something to absorb that alcohol. Okay? So that can be part of where this malnutrition and 
you know, being hungry and starving themselves because they're just staying fucked up to death and they're not taking care of their body in, in a healthy way. All right, death in reverse. Staying in a situation they should not. Continuing down the wrong path. Resistance to change. Stuck in old habits. Stagnation. In a rut. Gotten all they can out of a situation. God. An energy vampire right there. And then on to the next one. No growth occurring. No changes made. Going into remission. If someone has cancer. Um, or some kind of ailment. Of autoimmune disease or something. Something going on for a very long time. Which can be good or bad. So this has definitely been going on for a long time. This is just how this person operates. Okay. Um, death will not occur as feared. Can indicate that a person is not actually dead. They survived a near-death experience. Does not recognize that they're dead. So they could die and then they're, um, they're going to be trapped in the fourth dimension because they're not crossed over. Okay. Um, medically, the word chronic in a dormant state or something is in remission. Okay. Is death in reverse, but as much death that is out here, if this person does not actually pass away, it's going to be a near death experience that hopefully is going to trigger a spiritual awakening and change this person's life, okay, to where they can start being a better person and getting out of these toxic karmic ass cycles that they're cycles that they're stuck in, and then projecting onto a whole community here, okay. Now, the Ten of Cups reversed. Problems with the family. Family members are quarreling. Disconnected from family. Ostracized from or kicked out of the family. Broken home due to divorce or death. I'm telling you the messages is repeating. Family has grown apart. They do not have a family. An orphan grew up in foster care. Feeling their family is not complete. Lost an important family member. Missing their family and homesick. Okay. And that's clarifying loss. So, you know, and that's the coffin here. I'm telling you. This could even be one of their ancestors here coming through. But I'm I'm really feeling like someone in this energy here, they are gonna pass away, if not one of them, both of them. Goodness, okay. Now, the King of Pentacles, reverse. <clears throat> A huge financial loss. Loss of savings or retirement money. This person's in a lot of fucking debt right here, okay? Um, keep an eye on your accounts and take precautions. So, with thief over here. They could be trying to hack you. They could have hacked you. Could have stolen your identity and committed fraud in your name. No financial means or backing. So people are, are not handing money out to these people anymore. Uh, they're not getting a loan. There's no financial backing. They're like their credit's too bad. They, they can't get out of whatever mess that they've gotten themselves into. They're heavily in debt. Financial stress. A financial institution that is in trouble, uh, shady business practices, a dishonest businessman. He will take you for your money. <laughs> God. Scrutinize all business contracts and negotiations. Squanders the money away. And medically, this is liver problems, and the liver is the master organ. So this, this person could drink so much they end up with cirrhosis of the liver. Okay. And that could be what takes their ass out. Okay. Um, the next we've got the devil. Paisley's outside. <laughs> Evie's like, Mommy, Paisley. <laughs> She's barking through the window. Right here. Like, Evie, Evie, come see me. I'm outside. <laughs> hey, Mommy's doing the movie, Paisley. Mommy can't. No. Okay, the devil is obsession, compulsion. Greed and corruption, drug addiction, prescription or not, perversion of desire, lust, appetite, and excess, 
obsessive compulsive uh, yep obsessive compulsive behaviors or habits of a negative influence negative energy or entity the dark side and i was just instantly drawn to that gin card is what popped in my mind so that's a dark negative fucking energy that they've cast it up to come after some of you not all of you um the dark side or they've just conjured this entity to do their bidding okay um but it's the dark side anything that's bad for you drugs alcohol caffeine smoking overeating and sexual deviations abusive or harmful relationships anything toxic for you can be actual toxins like chemicals and gases poisons pollutants pesticides anything that's rotten and contaminated or contaminated purulent or infected okay next we've got the knight of swords in reverse very angry violent action weaponry guns or knives i'm telling you this knife is standing out to me big time you know and it's right beside this karmic feminine here she felt like she did something. She could have stabbed and killed someone, and, she, and she's hidden evidence and burned evidence in a car. This woman killed, could have killed someone that they were divorced from, and um, shit's about to pop off because this bitch might be getting caught up because there was DNA evidence that was found proving that she was at the scene of um what this was the investigation it could have started in a house and then the and then something could have happened in the car and it's been under investigation and this woman doesn't know that she's being investigated for this death as playing a part in it and um the situation is about to explode. So there, and I'm seeing this with GPS in reverse and burning evidence. A car could have been burned. Like the car was caught on fire. For whoever this person was. That this, this person could have stabbed someone and killed someone. And they, they could have gotten paid even because they were having money problems. All right, now that just quickened into me. Um, guns or knives, unregistered or illegal firearms, radical behavior, dishonorable, dishonesty can mean a lack of courage. Since anger is said to manifest in our body as cancer, as a medical card, this can indicate the presence of cancer. So, I was talking about that a minute ago with the death card, with being in remission. Um, okay, so the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Disruptive or unhappy home life. Too many people in the house. Evicted or thrown out. Having no place to live. Lost the house. Foreclosure. Afraid to leave the house homebound, grounded, structural problems like roof leaks, foundations cracked, appliances are broken, uh, could be living in the projects, fights over who gets the house, you don't get the house, okay? And then the Ace of Cups reversed. Missing their loved one, lost their love, Love spurned or rejected, feeling empty and alone, disappointment in love, withholding their love. Just this water sign, Cancer Pisces Scorpio up here that's withholding their love. Okay. Um, they are not in love. They're not in love with this karmic feminine. They're in love with Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine. You all flip it how it resonates. I'm just reading the energy. You all know there's no gender in tarot. You flip it how it fits with your with your story. Don't force it to fit, though. All right. Only take what's yours. Leave the rest for who it's meant to be for. Um, 
Okay, they are not in love. They never felt loved. Feeling unwanted or unloved. Lacking passion or desire for a thing, a person, or for sex. An unwanted pregnancy. I'm telling you. Somebody got some, somebody pregnant. Medically, it is dehydration or fluid overload or congestive heart failure. And then um, on the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Wands. Wrong one. Success, winning, overcoming obstacles, coming out on top, holding one's ground, taking a stand, having the upper hand or advantage, facing the opposition, accepting the challenge, and you will succeed collective over all of this fuckery that's going on behind the scenes in your life. Whoever I'm tapped into right now, if this is your story, you will succeed and you're going to come out of this. Okay? Lord have mercy. So, um, when I drew from this deck, I'm just going to put it back in here and we're going to see what else comes. We're going to see how it comes out live together. Okay? Um, I think it'll be more fun that way. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me shuffle them up. We'll see if what I had pulled. I'm sure some of those are going to come right back out. So. All right. Now, give me some physical features here, Spirit. Tell me about this person. Okay. This person could have a pale skin tone. Okay. Or a peachy skin tone. Street fashion. Someone has dark eyes. Someone has a resting bitch face. Someone could have braids. Somebody's all about their makeup. Somebody has hazel eyes. What else, spirit? Tell me more. We have a red head. Red lipstick. Black hair. Someone wears a kerchief on their head. Someone's pregnant. I'm telling you. Okay, somebody could have a scar. Maybe on their face like that. Or on their lip. When I was looking at these cards earlier, I, I quickened in like a hair lip. Um, someone has long hair. Someone could have dimples. Someone has a square face. Oh, powerful. And it came out in reverse. So this person has no power. This person thinks they're powerful and they're not. Somebody has straight hair. This person could be petite. Someone has dark skin. And a pointed nose. Tell me more. Tell me more. High cheekbones. Someone's really attractive. You have long nails. Someone's religious or spiritual. We have a fashionista. Someone has blue eyes. We have a man. It came out in reverse, so it could be a very immature man. Someone likes to wear black clothing. Someone has a beard. I'm going to do one more round. Someone could have wavy hair. 
Someone has green eyes. Drawn to this one. Someone has curly, wavy hair. And either wears glasses or sunglasses. Okay. I was told to stop there. Now. I want to pull from the Panther Oracle real quick. What do I need from here, Spirit? I was drawn to this. What do we need? There's a sweetheart. Somebody could be pregnant. I'm telling you. Pure, unconditional love and beloved. And this is also your energy collective. Your sweetheart. Okay? Your sweetheart. What well, God, everything is coming out in reverse. Look at how reversed this karmic is. Jesus. Okay? This person is scared to death. They're depressed and they're fucking paranoid. And they've got phobias. Okay? They're freaking out about stuff. The number 62, the number 21, someone's overloaded. There's assessment, obligation, and overwhelm going on. The number 67. And it could be this court case. I'm telling you, I think these people are definitely under investigation. Okay. And they're overloaded from their obligations that they have in their life now because they're stuck in these karmic cycles. And they have absolutely created a firestorm for themselves. They're having a mental breakdown because they're too stubborn and arrogant to change their behavior. Because they're like, no, it's going to be my way. I'm going to keep doing drugs and making bad choices. And I don't give a fuck if I create a fucking firestorm full of drama and karma endings and loss. They want to create mental breakdowns in others. And you're on your self-love tour. They're mad because you're a sweetheart and you love yourself. You're, you have self-concern. You're healing yourself and you're independent. And they don't like that. You are stable. They don't like it that you're okay and that you're stable without them. And that you're living in a state of harmony and you've accepted what's going on. They can't accept it. They don't have acceptance. Number 43 to number 65. Indulgence in reverse. Number 47. Um, we've got, you're not interacting, there's no joy, and this person is not friendly, okay? And you're not indulging in any of this karmic behavior with this person. You're not operating out of a state of pride and ego. But this person sure as fuck is the number four. Did I say the number 47? We have um, self-esteem, self-worth, ego, and pride issues, and it came out in reverse. So you're balanced with a good, healthy state of ego and pride to where that's in check okay because you're going in and you're balancing out that inner healing work you're facing your challenges okay while this other person's just drowning theirs with addiction we have relaxation in reverse peace tranquility and easiness they are not at peace they have no peace they're, nothing is easy. Everything is really fucking hard in this person's life right now. They're pissed because you're okay and you're tranquil. This marriage is upside down. Could it end up, could, if it's not going to, well, the divorce is after they pop the question. So, I mean, they married them and then this could be future where they end up getting a divorce. So this has already happened. But this marriage is in reverse. Sweet love. So this is not a sweet love. It's a toxic fucking love. Um, this couple is not a happy couple anymore, and that could be why this courtship here, you know, is in reverse over here. Um, and the Ace of Cups in reverse, there's no love at all there. That's like absolutely just, oh, there's no love at all in any of this. There's no strings attached. There's no love. It's just straight up fucking is all it is. And this person is codependent, okay? And we have inducement, persuasion, bribe, and temptation. And the marriage is number six. This is number 52. So, you know, there, you didn't have to bribe this person. You, you know, they didn't have to be like, temptation's not an issue. You're, you're not tempted or persuaded to be anywhere near this person. And it doesn't matter, um, 
what try what bribes or temptations try to come or persuasion tries to come towards you from this narcissist you don't want anything to do with this shit and there's nothing that they can do to tempt you or to get you to come back in and now they're in massive regrets over this because all they want to do is love and gaslight and you could possibly become well not a billionaire but you know i mean you could end up becoming a millionaire even and we've got an empath here that has triggered the fuck out of these assholes and these bitches just need to stay in their lane they need to do their shadow work you're the oracle here that is exposing exposing these people and they don't fucking like it okay they don't fucking like it they're they're over it oh my god they're pissed okay all right spirit what else do i need i'm gonna draw from here we're going to close out. What messages do we need from this deck, please, Spirit? I don't know if I said it. This sweetheart is number 21. Slow down and take your time. There is no need to rush everything. You are already doing your part. Trust that what belongs in your life is already making its way towards you in divine timing. Go back to the heart of who you truly are. There you will find peace. Look at your life in its, in its entirety. Acknowledge any old wounds and then release them. Use what they taught you as added strength. Keep moving forward with a renewed sense of confidence. You've got this collective. Don't let this shit affect you. Don't lose sight of this truth. You came here to evolve and grow. It is necessary to experience the difficult times. That is when you will grow most. I was talking about that, in, I think, in my last reading. There is always light at the end of the tunnel. Be proud of your journey. No matter how much you are being tested or pushed right now, stand your ground and push back. Stand your ground, collective. You have to defend yourself from these motherfuckers, all right? Um, believe in your own integrity and self-worth so much that no one can get in your way. Exactly. Have the confidence to move forward. You can and will do this. What areas of your life are you avoiding? Wow. Where was that? Avoidance. What areas of your life are you avoiding? And that's where the star seed and podcast in reverse were down here. And it lands under challenges, make a decision, work on inner healing and gambling, problems with addiction or gambling and bad finances. What areas of your life are you avoiding? Worry? Uh, are they causing you upset? Disrupted sleep? If so, these are the areas you need to focus on. As much as you don't want to, it is necessary. You have to heal it. Tackle your demons head on. Go in and do that inner healing work. Don't allow them to rule you for a second longer. This person is so unhealed. You are not moving too slowly. Drop the self-induced pressure. You are at the sweet spot between taking care of yourself and still making advancements on your goals. On this path, there is no such thing as being behind. Smile, breathe, and carry on. All right, collective. Don't allow negative emotions to fester. If you are feeling frustrated, angry, or hurt, for example, just acknowledge that. Instead of fighting your feelings, go with them and work with them. Then, true healing can really begin. Exactly. Good. Come through, Spirit. Alright, Spirit, do I need anything else? I want one from here. I don't know what it is. Oops. Oh, it looks like it might be that one that just flew out. Oh, there's two. Let's see. Three. What comes around the three fates? Karma is real. I'm telling you. Once upon a midnight dreary, creativity, genius, writing, expression, and artistic flow. Yeah, so whatever they've been trying to do to block your communication, okay, whatever you're you're doing here, 
of wherever they've been trying to block the star seed with their podcast as an influencer and as a, as a legend here. All of that blockage is, is being lifted. Autumn is my last chance. Please don't lose hope. Something pivotal could happen in the fall. Your imaginary friend, childhood treasures resurface. Maybe you had an imaginary friend as a child. This grumpy red fairy is telling you to be your true self. Go back and have that um, childlike mind to help you manifest and go in and heal that inner childhood wounds of what is affecting you and this promiscuity and it very possibly is sexual trauma. Okay. All right, collective. I want to get an animal totem and then we're going to close out. The elephant forgiveness. If you are feeling angry about a past issue, the elephant is asking you to discover the more vulnerable feelings behind that anger. You are being asked to forgive and be gentle with others. The fox opportunities is on the bottom. You must be quick to move out of your comfort zone, especially when the situation calls for immediate responsiveness and flexibility. Open your mind to new ways of doing things. Once you do, get ready for good luck and opportunities to come your way. Thank you, Spirit. All right. So, all right, Collective. So that's going to be our reading. So, only take what resonates. This is some crazy fucking energy. This is so toxic and so karmic right here. So, this is your crazy ex and what the hell they have gotten mixed up in and uh, how it's affecting your, your life. I'm sorry, guys. Trust me. This is definitely like personal energy for me here. So, I hope the best for your situation and you guys stay safe out there from this crazy psycho ex. If this motherfucker ends up at your door, just call the cops. Go ahead and fucking call 911 and have their ass put in fucking jail. So that way you don't take a chance on anything popping off, alright? I love you, collective. Stay safe out there. Until next time. Bye, guys.